Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle, your science teacher. Come and explore the wonderful world of science. Because in science, it's not just magic, it's real. Science 5, Week 3, Physical and Chemical Change In the previous lesson, you discovered the different properties of materials. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a review about physical and chemical properties. Identify the property of each material that I will show you. What property of solid material does the rubber band show? Elasticity. Great! It shows elasticity. How about the tin can? What property of solid material does the tin can show? Malleability. Yes, it shows malleability. How about the overripe fruits? Biodegradability. That's correct. It shows biodegradability. The characteristics of a material that can be readily observed without changing its composition is known as physical property. While when the composition of a material has to change first before a certain property can be observed is known as chemical property. You may observe that some materials around you have changed. You may also notice that while there are materials that change, there are also those that seem to stay the same. There are two ways by which materials change. These changes can be categorized as physical change and chemical change. Physical change happens when the materials change in shape or size but the substances or particles making up the materials are still the same. These changes are directly observed. Just like when you cut or slice an apple. There are changes in shape and size of an apple, but the material is still the same. Aside from cutting, there are also other processes that cause changes in the materials. This includes bending, shredding, dissolving, boiling, freezing, and melting. The breaking of glass into pieces is also an example of physical change. You can explore chemical change by observing an apple. If you have an apple at home, cut it into two and expose it to oxygen in the air. What do you think would happen in its color after cutting and exposing it to oxygen after 5 minutes? If you observe that it changes from whitish to brownish color, then it undergoes chemical change. The oxygen which is introduced in the surface of the apple releases the free radicals in an oxidation process. This turns the apple into a brown color. The material undergoes chemical change. There are substances in the apple that combines with oxygen and causes the browning of the apple. Metals such as iron rust when exposed to oxygen. Rusting occurs when the surface of the metals or its alloys, such as steel, will corrode in the presence of water. Can you explain why the presence of water in contact with iron forms rust? Water is a compound that is made up of oxygen and hydrogen. The presence of oxygen causes rusting of iron. The process of rusting is a combustion reaction similar to creation of fire. If it is left in contact with oxygen, iron will react with oxygen to form rust. Rusting is the common term for corrosion of iron and its alloys. There are other processes that cause chemical changes. These are burning, cooking, baking, and rotting. Cooking and burning involves the application of heat. This causes the materials to change in their state and composition. When this happens, 
a new substance and different property or products are formed. Some evidence of chemical change are the production of heat and light, formation of bubbles, or formation of a precipitate or solid within a solution. Now it's time for you to do the experiment. Bye!